Hello everyone, welcome in the lecture of the RCDC. In this lecture, we are going to look at that how we can import the ETAPS file into the RCDC so that we can further do the design and detailing in the RCDC. So in very simple steps, we are going to learn that how we can import ETAPS file into the RCDC software. Before going into deep in topic, one very important information. A span instruct has released PG program in structure design and analysis. In this program, you will be learning ETAPS, SAFE, RCDC, Revit, and CAD in very detail. In this program, you will be getting live classes, pre recorded sessions, quizzes, project submissions and checking, and also you will be getting a personal training also. Also, you will be getting dedicated career service which help you to provide placement in top companies. Our student is placed in top companies in India, also in abroad. Also, if you want to open your own consultancy, our program and team will help you to achieve that goal. Also, this program is designed for the working professionals also it is designed for the student also so you will be getting a dashboard here and in this you will get an enroll course here after clicking in enroll course you can start learning this so this is the curriculum which we will be learning in this program and in this curriculum you will be doing total four projects also in this program you will be getting live classes for the discussions and solving your doubt for the demo class, open our website that is spanestack.in. You will get a link in description box also. And after that, you just need to fill your name, email address, WhatsApp number, and choose your date, time, and schedule your live class. You can also make a program related inquiry on given number. Looking forward to see you in our course program. Now come back to the topic which we were discussing. But before going into the steps, I'm going to give you a very important note. If there is a shear wall in your project, for the shear wall, you have to define the peer labeling. So if you are going to export the shear wall forces and all, for that reason, you have to define the peer labeling. If you not define the peer labeling, then you can define it before going to export in the RCDC. I have already explained you in the lecture of the shear wall design that how you can define the peer labeling. Also, if you have used the auto peer labeling, then it is fine. It is okay. No problem in that. But Without peer labeling, you cannot export the RCDC file for the column design or the footing design or the pile curve design. If there is a beam design, then you can export it without the peer labeling also. But I will recommend you that please give the peer labeling for the shear wall. Then only you start exporting your file for the RCDC. In step number one, we are going to give it minimum number of output station for the beams. So first of all, what you are going to do, you will select all the beams here. So you have to go to select select go to object type select your beams after that you have to go to assign then you will find a frame option after that you will find output station option here so this option you have to come and then you have to click on output stations then you will find minimum number of stations here so by default you will be having a three number of output station so this you have to change to 13 so I will just give it 13 here and after that I will give it apply then okay now what is the output stations I have already explained you in the beam design so if you don't know that what is the output station then please watch that video then we will understand that what actually output station is now I will continue to the step number two in the step number two you have to run the analysis so again you have to go to the play box option for running the analysis, you can just click on this or even you can go to analyze options and from here you can run the analysis. After running the analysis, once you have to verify that what all the load cases you have considered in analysis, it should be in the status of finished. So you have to go into the analyze options. Here you have to go into the set load case to run here and from here you have to verify that what all the load cases you have considered all should be in the status of finished so if you are getting anything with unfinished it means that that load particular load cases has not been completed so once you have to verify that that all the load cases which you have considered it it should be in the status of finished only after that in the step number three so i will just write a step number three you just need to export your file so you have to go into the file option here you will find export option and from here only you will find etaps database table to access 
so please look at this options very carefully because this is option only you have to export your rcdc file don't take any other options this is only option is having for exporting your ETAS file into the rcdc file you have to click this option now you got options to choose the table to export into access file so what are the tables you required the first table you required that is model definitions table so this you required completely then you required analysis result also so this table also required completely and even if you want design data also that is not compulsory if you want to take this design data then you can take it but it is not required i will just untick this so these two of things has to be selected completely or we can say this has to be considered for exporting your access file so th these are the tables which we required so that we can run the design and detailing in our rcdc now after selecting these tables now you have to select your load patterns also so make sure that you have to select your all the load patterns which you have considered it then load cases so if you have considered the construction sequence load cases and any non-linear load cases at that time you no need to consider it now in this i have considered the static load cases also as well as i have considered the dynamic load cases also so i will just give it ok after selecting all these things then there is options of load combinations so if you just click on these options in the load combinations don't select your envelope the rest of it you can select it now one very important thing in the load combinations just if you not consider the load combinations also if you have the load cases you can easily generate the load combinations through it so don't think that if i have not considered the load combinations in our export then it will not be there even if you not export or if you not consider also your load combinations with the help of the load cases you can easily create your load combinations now after it i will give it ok now it's time to run the export so after considering all the tables all the load patterns all the load cases the load combinations now it's time to export your file now before running the export one more options we have that is the open file after export now these options we have to tick if you want your file to be opened after the export so if you don't want your file to be opened after export then you can just untick this and if you want it then you can just tick it so that your file will be opened after the export now after considering all the things now you can run the export for running the export you have to click ok now it's time to select the unit in which you want to export the file i will just remain this in the by default unit only i will give it ok after that now it's time to save the file here so just go to the rcdc folder and just save this file it will take a minute of time for exporting your file may it take up to hour also it depend upon what size of the file you have now your file got exported and it is opened also so i think you have understand that why we have ticked that option that open your file after the export so if you just look at that these options we have just ticked out to open our file after the export you can just look at that these options we have the in this your file will get opened after the export so this file has been opened after the export only no this is your access file this is not a simple we can say any excel file and all this is the access file and every data you can just look at it it has been saved in the form of table so if you look at the frame properties everything it will be get saved now you have to remember that in rcdc we have to import our access file don't think that in rcdc you are going to import any e2k file or any edb file and all it will be imported only your access file which is created by etabs if you are using a stat pro in that case you can import your .std file but if you are using etabs and all you can just better you can just export your access file and then only you can import it that is the better options if you are just transferring your file from etabs now one very important thing if you are going to create microsoft access file in that case in your system microsoft access software should be installed then only you can import or export your microsoft access file now i'm just going to repeat that if you're going to export microsoft access file in that case in your system microsoft access software should be installed to know that it is installed or not installed in your search box just type access now if you're getting this app it means that it is installed in your system now come back to the access file here. now one very important thing if you're going to use lower version of rcdc at that time you can just save this file in the lower version only so you have to go file options here go to save as options you can just look at that you will get an option of 2002 to 2003 database here 
So if you're going to use the lower version of RCGC, then that case, just you have to save your file in 2002 to 2003 database version. Just tick this and give it save as option here. I will not save it in the lower version because I have a higher version of RCDC. So after doing this all the things, you close your RCDC file. Don't let your RCDC file to be open. Please close it. So just go and close this RCDC file. After that, you open the RCDC. Now I have opened the RCDC software and in this RCDC, this is the connect edition version. Now you need to just give out the name here. What is the project name? What is the client engineer? If you are starting your new project. So just go to the new options here and just start giving a project name. So just I will just give it the project name. Now it is asking the client name. I will just give the client name also. Goel Builder. Then it is asking the engineer name. So you just give out the engineer name also. Now very important thing you have to select that is a design code. So in which design code you want to design these structures. So if you're just practicing Indian code, then you have to select IS. If you're practicing in American standard code, then you have to select ACI. If you're going to practice on British code, then BS. So like that, you have to select your code according to your practice. I will select IS code as our design code. After selecting the IS as a design code, now you have to select that which version of detailing code you want. There is two version of detailing code. The first version is your IS. 1392-2016 which is the latest version. One more version we have that is the oldest version of IS-1390 which is 1993 version. Now definitely we are going to select the first version only which is IS-1392-2016 which is our detailing code of the latest version. So I will select this option. Also you already know that IS-1390 is our ductile detailing code. Now after selecting this all the options, now we have to select our access file that is the Microsoft access file which is created through the ATAPS. Now this only we have to select it. Now for selecting this, you just click on these options. After that, go to the file where you have saved your access file. Now open this. Now after this, very important thing to select the design element. What design element you want to design through this RCDC software? Now you have to select it. Let's suppose that I need to design the pile cap, then I will select my pile cap options. When I have to design the footing, then I will select the footing. When I need to design the columns and the walls, then I will select the columns and wall. If I want to design the beams, then I have to select the beams. And after that, I have to select the level also, in which level you want your beam to be designed. If you're going to design the slab, then definitely you have to select the slab of the floors also. So like that, you have to select the design element for which you want to design. So if you want to design for the beams, then you have to select the floor level also. If you want to design the slab, then you have to select the floor level of that slab also. In this very important thing you have to observe that we have created only one Microsoft access file. For different design element, you don't need to create a different Microsoft access file. The same file will work for all the design element. You don't need to create a separately your Microsoft access file for every design element. For one Microsoft access file, it is going to be designed for all the design element. Now you need to select the design element for which you want your design and detailing for your project. Let's suppose that I need a design detailing for the columns and the walls. Then I will select the columns and the wall. If I want design and detailing for the beams, let's suppose that I need a design and detailing for the floor number one. Then I will select the one here. After that, I will click on create project. So when you will click on create project, it will start creating your project for the beam for the first floor. It will just read the analysis model. After reading an analysis of your Microsoft access file, RCDC has created a file for you through which you can run the design and detailing for your project.